This is Gary Guam with John Service, trainer of Maryland Bread, Catherine Sophia. John, thanks a lot for taking the time to talk My with pleasure. us. My pleasure. Uh, how is Catherine Sophia doing acclimating to the Churchill Downs? She's done well here. She's, she, uh, she enjoyed going to Keeneland for sure. She, she did great there. We've only been here about three, four days and she's acclimated well. She's been doing great. Uh, as far as uh, coming out of her last race, going mile 16th, it was a brutal pace. How did she come out of that, and is she ready to take on nine furlongs? Um, you know, the nine furlongs is going to be a little bit of a question, but uh, as good as she ran last time and, and the way she settles, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm, she certainly deserves a shot, and I'm real happy with the way she's doing coming into the race. Well, all Maryland's proud of her for being a, a Maryland bred, and Mr. Manfusa, I saw him the other day, and he's all hyped about it because he, he thinks she, she can do it here. As far as the post from a little bit outside, uh, what kind of pace scenario? Uh, hopefully, you're not hooked up uh, in, in a quick pace this time around. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I'm gonna leave that to Javier. You know, I mean, he's you know he's top rider in the country. She's got enough early speed to put herself in the race and get a nice stalking position, and I'm sure Javier can get that done with no problem. Not let him ride his race and. The only thing I'll say to him is just sit as long as you can. Don't move till you have to. And did he learn anything about her in that last race? Something, that, does he have any question himself uh, about uh, the ride? You know, I think he learned a lot. Um, you know, we'd never run her two turns and he had only ridden her once before that. So, uh, you know, I, I don't think he really knew how good she was and how talented she was, especially going two turns. Um, she made such a, a sweeping move at Gulfstream with him sprinting in the, in the mile race that I think he was kind of looking to do that again in the Ashland and obviously better horses. I mean, that was the toughest field she'd run against. And when he made his move, she ran right to him. But of, of course, you know, the other two fillies dug in and, and it was a horse race and, and uh, you know, they both started to show it coming to the last 16. Regardless of what comes out of the Oaks, Hopefully, when she, you know, she, she's healthy coming out of it, are you going to give her some time off, or do you have a plan? You know, it depends on how she runs. If she runs well and comes out of it good, um, we've talked about the acorn and then giving her a rest after the acorn, and uh, we'll see how that plays out. Okay, great. Thanks a lot for your time, John. Good luck on Friday. Thank you, Gary.